after being shut down this year, we now know when the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo plans to kick off next year. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Christine Noel. And I'm Keith Garvin. Dominique and Chris are off tonight. Instead of March, the rodeo plans on starting May 4th and run through the 23rd, but that could still change depending on the status of the pandemic. Channel 2's Jacob Rascone is live at NRG Park tonight with more on what it means for visitors and vendors who rely on the show for income. Jacob. Yeah, Keith, the plan right now is to kick off the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo right here behind me in just under five months with millions of visitors, tens of thousands of volunteers, vendors, contestants, and others. If, and that's a big if, the pandemic is much more under control by then. The 200 or so adults with disabilities at the Brookwood community outside Houston love to build ornaments, soaps, ceramics, and other gifts. Sold for many tens of thousands of dollars at a booth at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo until this year. It was devastating news. It was extremely sad. For Elizabeth Carlisle in the Brookwood community, today's news is as exciting as the shutdown news in March was disappointing. When I got the news today that we were going to get to have the rodeo, I was like, yeehaw, we get to have it um, and showcase the amazing products. The largest livestock show and rodeo in the world is Houston's largest annual event, generating hundreds of millions of dollars in economic activity. Rodeo Houston's president said the usual March dates just didn't work. I think it's important to point out there are no guarantees to any of this, but we felt like it may gave us a much better window uh, and, and a much better opportunity to try and do what we do. Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo in a statement today said in part, quote, we still do not know if hosting a mass gathering like the rodeo in May will be feasible, safe or advisable. But Rodeo Houston's president and contestants and workers and vendors who count on the annual show are holding out hope that the show will go on after all. There's light at the end of this tunnel, and so I think we're starting to see that light. So planning and trying to decide what to do next year began almost immediately after this year's show was canceled. The Rodeo Houston president has met with city and county officials as recently with the mayor and the judge in the last several days. Now the plan right now is they want to decide for sure what they're going to do in May 60 days or so ahead of time. So by the end of February, we should know for sure what's going to happen in May. If it doesn't happen in May, it's not going to happen at all, they said. Reporting live at NRG Park, I'm Jacob Rascone. Keith and Christine, back to you. Yes, sir.